everybody, welcome to an Epic Mod Am Toys video. Today we are taking a look at some new WWE Elite action figures, guys, from Mattel. We have the WWE WrestleMania 36 Elites in the house. Of course, these will be hitting retail pretty soon. I, I would imagine they would be hitting retail um, here in the next couple months or so. Of course, Ringside Collectibles gets them early and then they roll into stores a couple months later, you know, building up the hype for WrestleMania. And this year it is WrestleMania 36 taking place in Tampa, Florida. And I think I'm going to go, guys. Are you going to go to WrestleMania? Let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe we can meet up. I would love to meet some fans, guys. I think I've only met, like, two fans ever, and I would love to meet some of you people. So, please, like, freaking, if you're going to WrestleMania, hit me up down below. You know, convince me to buy tickets to WrestleMania. The wife is always in on it. We would love to go to WrestleMania, and just hit me down in the comment section. But today, guys, I'm very hyped for this set. You know, when they first revealed these images, I was very excited for them. We got four great figures from four epic matches slash moments at WrestleMania. Mania, so I am excited for it. I think they did a really good job this year picking out the elites. I think uh, this year and last year are the only two years that they've had four elites. Usually they'd have two, right? I know at WrestleMania 33, didn't we have like Triple H and HBK? Then 34, we had Kevin Owens and Randy Orton. And then 35, we had Taker, Scott Hall, Sasha Banks, and Triple H. And now this year, we have Booker T, Kofi, Mick Foley, and Matt Hardy. But anyways, guys, what we're going to do for this one, it's not going to be our normal review. We're actually going to crack all four of them out of their packaging, taking a look at everything and not only that, guys, we do have a Build-A-Figure in this set. The Build-A-Figures have returned here with our Build-A-Figure Dangerous Danny Davis referee figure, which I'm very excited for. And uh, we're going to build him up. We're going to take a re review of all the quick figures. You know, we're going to do a not as a, probably not as an in-depth look as we do on the other reviews, but we are going to take a review of them. Look at the accessories they come with. Build up Danny Davis. Take a closer look at him and just get everything started. Before we get into it, I do want to give a huge shout-out to Ringside Collectibles for making this review possible and sending these figures out way. If you'd like to pick up any of these figures, guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10% and get in on it, guys. But let's go ahead and take a little quick shot of all of them in their packaging. Uh, you do have the WrestleMania 36 logo here. Build a referee figure, Danny Davis right there. Kofi Kingston on the bottom. I love this packaging. I think it looks fantastic. I'm not a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan, but if you're a Buccaneers fan, I think you'll like it even more with that Buccaneers style logo. Obviously, Tampa is the home of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the WrestleMania 36 will be taking place in their home stadium, I'm sure. They have the pirate ship and all that stuff in there, so that probably makes a lot of sense that the logo would look like the Buccaneers. Spinning it around, we've seen the image. On the back, you get a great little read-up. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it now. You have Kofi, picture of Kofi, rest of the figures in the wave, another image of Kofi from Mania 35. Nice black stripe going on there. And if you guys just want to do a quick little recall of all the, all the packaging right there. And then we have Mick Foley, which is probably, probably one of the most interesting figures in the set, which is hilarious, which we'll get into. And then you have Matt Hardy. And uh, at the end, I guess I can give you guys my personal favorite from the set. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack all four of these hoes out of their packaging. So here are all four WrestleMania 36 Elites out of their packaging, guys, and I have to say, after reviewing all of them, you guys know when I take them out of the packaging, I pose them around, play with them a little bit, get them going, I think I love every figure in this set. I think that it's a very strong set, and I think that if you are one that is a completionist, you like to collect full sets, then this is a fantastic set for you. I think that this is really a, a roundabout, just really good set, and I am excited for all of them. And uh, there are some gripes, of course, we're going to get into all of those things, but for the most part, guys, this is a really strong set, and we're going to get into all of it. Before we get started, dude, I do want to... Why did I say dude? Forget it. We're adding dude to the vocabulary. Before we get started, dude, we're going to say uh, we're gonna say what Build-A-Figure parts come with what. So the head comes with Matt Hardy, the torso comes with Mick Foley, the legs and arms both come with Booker T, and the interchangeable hands, the, the pin hands, come with Kofi Kingston. And I will say, I guess because we have so many Kofi figures and we have so many WWE championships, unless you just really want a moment that captures when Kofi won or you want this pink and you know bronzish attire and you know it's certain things I would say that the other three figures in the wave are uh, a must if you want to build the referee but you don't necessarily have to have Kofi to complete your build a figure so if you want to just buy these three to complete your referee you could do that but I love the Kofi so I, I would recommend getting it as well but anyways ladies and gentlemen uh, you guys just want to go ahead and build our referee figure let's go ahead and just build it up so we take our legs from Booker T we're going to take our torso from McFoley we're going to snap this together like so just kind of push this together and it's not wanting to go together so that's upsetting what the blue hell oh do you have to line that up i guess you have to line that up 
There it goes. So you have to line that up and then it'll snap together. Waist is kind of loosey-goosey. Not gonna lie to you. It's not, you know, the worst thing in the world. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not as tight as I would like it, but it's not terrible. Coming over to the left arm, pushing that in. There you go. Shoulders are a bit, you know, they're, they're pretty good there. I guess it's because he's wearing sleeves, so I guess that makes sense. Got the little bunch up right there. Go to the right arm, plug that in. Got that all in, I think. You know, in years past, the referee figures, or not the referee figures, but the builder figures have been kind of loosey-goosey, so it's nice to see that the arms and stuff are staying in without, you know, much effort to pull there. And then, of course, we have our head sculpt for Danny Davis, and we're just going to pop this on, and there we go. So now we have our builder figure referee, Danny Davis, and that looks pretty good. Now, one thing I will say is that I remember, like, years ago and, you know, everything, we've been begging for Mattel to give us a referee figure instead of just the cloth t-shirt and pants and uh, I think this is cool and a step in the right direction but I don't know why they wouldn't give us like a Mike Kyoto or a Lil Nate or something like that with the regular referee t-shirt and make it a build a figure like this before we got Danny Davis. I mean it's still a cool figure it's pretty sick I, I do enjoy this and I actually thought of a fig hack you could do to make somebody in a suit and bow tie however I think I would have liked to seen Lil Nate or Mike Kyoto or another veteran referee before we got Danny Davis but it's still pretty cool but you see his waist is pretty pretty loose but but there is a way to fix this. What you'll do to fix this is you pop this off, you separate them at the torso and pants, and then you'll put some Mod Podge over that peg, and then you'll uh, let that dry and then reconnect it. It'll be a lot more tight, and that is something we've done on figure surgery before. I think it's the one where we made the Seth Rollins in the in the black suit where he won the Slammies. I think it's episode five of Action Figure Surgery. If you guys want to know what that's like, go watch that episode. But there's our Danny Davis figure, man, looking pretty good. Pretty good articulation. You guys know he can do the splitsies. But now that we've built up Danny Davis and taken a closer look at him guys let's go ahead and take a closer look at the rest of the figures in the wave so i guess we can start off with matt hardy guys and for matt hardy he does come with his beautiful entrance gear right here and this would have been very nice for years ago when we wanted to make our brother nero and delete matt Har or broken matt hardy's uh before now but you know it still works on the back it does have the house hardy on the back which looks really good i love the white slash cream color slash gold that's going on with this it looks really really strong and it's a very nice soft material it's not very stiff it has some plyo to it so it will move when you bend the figure and stuff. It's not cloth, but it will definitely move. And then we take a look at this, guys. It's very similar to his SummerSlam Elite. You guys know the SummerSlam with the uh, the V1 Matt Hardy. That is basically what this figure is, except he does have the gold details instead of black details. And they actually put all of the pattern all over it this time, and it looks good. I love the gold pockets going on. I love the interchangeable delete head scan or hands, I should say. You know, he can just say, delete, delete, delete. So that's very good. We get a brand new Matt Hardy head sculpt, which looks pretty good as well. Pretty happy with the way this Matt Hardy head sculpt looks. It's like the wide-eyed. Not my favorite Matt Hardy head sculpt. I think it is the worst of the three that we've seen, but I still like it. Maybe the one that's on the back of the packaging down here would have been better, but I still like it. Bo Dallas style torso going on as well, and a really strong figure overall. I like this one, man, but I also love Matt Hardy, so that's probably a reason why. As far as accessories is concerned, he comes with his entrance gear, and then he comes with delete finger pointing hands, and then he has his regular mic holding hands. Moving on to Mick Foley, guys. This one is freaking hilarious. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what this head sculpt is, guys. I just don't see Mick Foley in there. Maybe, like, from an angle like that, it kind of looks like it. But I think what they were going for was the Cactus Jack head sculpt from the or the, the face that he's making on the t-shirt here. But I just don't think it works. I think I'm going to head switch this on action figure surgery with our first Elite Captain, uh, Captain Jack. You know, our first, uh, you know, the Elite 48 Captain Jack Sparrow. The first Elite 48 Cactus Jack figure, I think I'm going to head swap that. Sorry for kicking the camera there. But th I will say these uh, sweatpants legs feel so much better than they did in the past. Like with other sweat, you know, like Shane McMahon figures and other figures we've gotten with this, the Mankind figures and stuff with these sweatpants legs. These feel way more sturdy and way more tight than the uh, than those in the, of the past. And so do these ankle joints. So it's very nice to see that, you know, like the John Cena's. My John Cena's plummet off the shelf every day. So it's really good to see that. And it is fun to see the shooter hands for Cactus Jack. You guys know that he does the shooter hands. And uh, yeah, that will come in handy for some other customs down the line or any other figures. He does come with this flannel shirt that you could take off if you wanted to. I'm not a big fan of all the, you know, all the rubber we got going on, rubber t-shirt, rubber flannel, but I understand it. It is, you know, what it is, and he does come with interchangeable open hands, and he does come with the Danny Davis torso, obviously, that we already covered, but I think I am going to head swap this. I'm just not a big fan of that, but it is a nice figure overall. So that is it for the second figure of the set, Mick Foley. Moving forward, guys, we have probably my favorite figure in the set, and it is Booker T. You guys know that last year we had the WrestleMania a 35 Triple H figure from their match at WrestleMania 19. Well, this year we got the figure 
from Mattel that is Booker T from that same matchup, and it is beautiful. I freaking love Booker T around this time. I remember like wanting him to win the championship. Triple H took forever to pin this man at that at that event for the title. He pedigreed him, and he took literally like 28 seconds to pin him. Everybody thought he was going to kick out. Did not kick out, and you know, the all the, the things in this feud, man, had a lot of people uncomfortable. You go back and watch it today. Really rough stuff to watch, but I always liked Booker T at this time. I hated Triple H at this time, and I really wanted Booker T to win, but he did not, and then, you know, the freaking just... I liked Booker T way more now, uh, right here, and stuff in his uh, earlier run, rather than King Booker. I hated his King Booker run, so it is nice to get a Booker T from this era. I know we have had a couple King Booker elites before, but they were not a flashback Booker T, so this is nice to see. You got the white trunks on there, the black gloves, elbow pads, big knee pads, and he comes with the beautiful white Cody Rhodes style boots. Booker T down the sides, man. Just beautiful figure. I love the head sculpt. We have had this in a basic before. I don't think it had true effects technology, though. Just a really well figure, and this thing is on ball joints if you were wondering. This is on ball joints. Mick Foley is on ball joints, but Matt Hardy is not. And with this figure, guys, you get some really awesome accessories. You get five-time hands. Oh my god, I love that we're getting five-time hands, and not only that, you get his pointing entrance fingers. So you get five-time, and you get pointing hands, and you get mic holding hands. So they definitely didn't let us down with interchangeable hands with the Booker T figure. I love it. I It's probably my favorite one in the set, hands down. That Booker T is fantastic. And then rounding out our set, guys, we do have the WrestleMania 35 Kofi Kingston, where he captured the WWE Championship from Daniel Bryan. And one thing I will say is he does come with the WWE Championship, which is excellent. I think it should come with the WWE Championship. That is something he should come with. But he also comes with the pinning hands. You guys know the flat hands for the Danny Davis so that he can pin. And then we have the interchangeable fist for Kofi, so he comes with the mic holding hands and then the fists, and then he, uh, I think that it would have been great if he came with not only the WWE Championship regular version, but it would have been really cool to see him come with the Hemp Championship since he won the Hemp Championship from Daniel Bryan, but New Day, obviously, Xavier Woods and Big E surprised him with the regular version with his own side plate, so it would have been cool and we would have gotten it a little bit earlier if they gave us the Hemp Championship. Maybe it wasn't completed yet. Maybe they hadn't gotten done with it, so I can understand it, but I think that would have been pretty cool to add another accessory. One thing I will say about this figure is the hairline is just not good. I think that uh, it's okay because his hairline was like this, but it was like faded. It's like he cut it and faded it, and we're going to do that on action figure surgery most likely. We're going to come in here and fade the haircut to where it looks a lot better and it's going to look a lot more accurate. I love the pink sleeves going on. Unfortunately, I don't think they molded these in pink, so you couldn't remove you know, the, the skin tone from it and then you know have pink sleeves. I don't think that's possible. Same Kofi torso that we've seen. No chest hair on there. Ab crunch is a little bit loosey-goosey on mine, at least in the back end. On the front end, it's fine, but on the back end, it is kind of loose. On the back, you have his tattoos. You have all this great deco work going down in all the great colors and all the great logos and stuff. I think Main Event Gear on Instagram makes his attires, and they do a really fantastic job. He has the same Kofi lower legs and kick pads that we've seen in the past. You guys know that he has the AJ Styles style kick pads, the ones that don't have the little lip like Seth Rollins has, and uh, I love this. You got the Kofi logo over here or a picture of him. You have a little unicorn logo right there. And just overall, really strong set, man. I really like this figure. I like the white outsoles. I like the attire. And it's just overall really good stuff, man. The, the Kofi rounds out our set. And I would like to know down in the comment section below which is your favorite. So in this set, guys, you get five figures if you buy the full wave, which is absolutely beautiful. So you not only get Kofi, Booker, Mick, and Matt, you get your build-a-figure Danny Davis, which looks really good as well, even though the torso is loose or the waist is loose. Like, god dang, bro. That's pretty bad. But I think that is going to do it for this full five figures in one WrestleMania 36 Elite Figure Set Review. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. Comment down below if you're going to WrestleMania. Also, comment down below which figure you like the best out of these. Did you pick up any of them? Do you like the Build-A-Figure Danny Davis? Which of these figures is your favorite out of Kofi, Booker, Mick, and Matt? Let me know down in the comment section below. Guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, I would recommend all four of them. I really would. I think they're all really good. Again, if you would like to pick up any of these figures you see in today's video, guys, go over to Ring Side Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10% and you will be able to pick these figures up for some cheaper money. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.